Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In today's video we're gonna look into what I have in here and try to decide what I want to do, uh, what I'm gonna keep and in this drawer there's a bunch of brow things in here and there's some sparkly stuff, some uh, pencils, some liners. So why don't we go through this and decide what we're gonna do I'm definitely not gonna keep this one this one is from L'Oreal Paris it's mink ink pen and I was just kind of playing with it a little bit earlier this is how it is it's kind of messy I don't like the formula of this I tried it multiple times and it's so 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 messy it's supposed to mimic the hair strokes but it's not it's just I don't like it and, and again the color does not work for me either so I definitely would not recommend this I got mine in brunette but no I'm definitely decluttering this one I'm not I'm not keeping this one you're gonna see probably in this video I'm gonna declutter a bunch of things um this is another thing that I'm gonna declutter this is brow bar to go by uh Gerard Cosmetics this thing actually came broken when it came in so this one is supposed to be a wax i know it looks kind of dirty and shit in here so that's a, a brow wax and this is the shade the shade doesn't match me the way i want it and the wax is not feeling comfortable for me um, i thought it would because i do have curly brow hairs but no it did not so not keeping this one i i just i feel like there's no point in having this around for me because I'm not going to use it. Another thing that I have in here that I did use a little bit, this is Eyebrow Kit by e.l.f. And I have these two colors in here. And I did enjoy this a little bit. This has like a weird, it's kind of like a waxy composition, but it's like colored one. And... I, it was okay-ish, but it just, it doesn't cover enough, I would say. And then you have this, uh, this one that feels like a, I don't know, it's powdery, but it's not powdery, you know what I mean? And I just, I don't like it that much to use it on everyday use. What I usually do use right now, I just, I just use eyeshadow right at the moment right now. Or if I do want to use something, I usually go, where is it? I thought I had it in here. I go with a pen, a brow pen. This one from uh, Brown Contour Pro and Brow Medium from Benefit. This one is the only one that I actually do like to use that I have in my collection at the time. So I'm going to get rid of this one as well. Another big one, we're going to get rid of this one from Profusions Cosmetics Brows 2. Um, this one comes with a brow wax, with a brow light with java and espresso and then you have this um, pen eyebrow pencil which i felt felt kind of scratchy it's not as uh creamy as i would like it to be and i just don't like it that much to be honest with you so it's the same thing i don't use it that much these two colors don't match me the way i like to so we're gonna let this one go too. Alright, next in here. Okay, I have a bunch of other brow products in here. Uh, so I have this one from Maybelline Define In Brow, which I did use a little bit. This is how much I have left in it. I don't like the shade, does not match me. But other than that, it's pretty nice. I mean, you can make some strokes with it and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going to keep this one in just for if I want to put a little bit more um, thought <laughs> into um, doing my brows and just kind of do some little hairs in there. I'm going to keep this one. Maybe I'll play with it a little bit longer. This one from Hourglass. Not my favorite. It doesn't give me the coverage that I like, and um, it is a, it is the color that matches me, but it does not give me the color that I like. And this one is in dark brunette, so I'm gonna give this one away. Then we have this one from 
This one, I don't know, maybe I should just kind of wait and see what I'm going to do with it. This one, I bought it from Japan. But you see, you see how hard I press and this, there's nothing coming out, like color-wise. So this, this is interesting. This is a pencil, but also it does have a powder in there. So, I don't know. But not even the powder, like it's too way too light for me. Yeah, this is way too light for me. I, I really wanted it to work. This is from Excel, it says. And it's supposed to be, do we know? The color? I don't think it does say the color. No. So, there you go. This one, not good. I'm going to give this one away as well. Now, this one, <laughs> look how it, <laughs> I don't like this at all. Uh, this is one of those pencils, that, again, that is kind of harder to press on. I like more of a creamy consistency. This one is not as creamy, and I also don't like the color. And I don't like the fact that it gets all this whites around it. I don't understand why is that happening, but yeah. This one is from Essence Eyebrow Design in Brow 2, and Brown 2. Gonna give that away. Now this one over here from Revolution. Huh. So listen, it's it's too much. The color doesn't doesn't look good, but also it's very very messy, and it's it's interesting because it does not cover the way I thought it's going to cover. But yeah, no, this one is definitely not going to stay. I didn't like this one from the moment I got it. I put it on for like two times. It has more like a green, towards of a green look to it. So this one goes too. Now this one over here I did use a few times. This one, I like to use it sometimes when I don't put any makeup on and I just want to have a little bit of something on my brows. And this is how it looks like. Um, I, I don't necessarily love it, but it does work, okay? So uh, it works because it fills in the gaps that I have in some areas. And once it dries down, it doesn't move. Right now, it didn't. It, it's moving because I didn't let it dry. But yeah, this one, I do like it for those days, no makeup, makeup days type of thing. So I'm going to keep that one. This one is from Almay. <laughs> I have not opened it yet. It's called Really Real Brows. Maybe I'm going to open this one at some point and see. But for now, we're going to keep it here. And I do have two pomades in here. I have this one from uh, KVD Super Brow in Medium Brown, which was okay. I kind of enjoyed it, but it did dry down quite a lot. And... Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna let it go. And then also this one from Ismo New York Embracing Brow Powder. Oh, pomade it says. This one is the same thing. It dries down real fast. And I just don't, I don't like it that much. I feel like it's a lot of work when you do a pomade. And apparently this one is called gingerbread. But yeah. Not keeping this, I'm going to give this two away as well. Well, look at that. I just let go a lot of my brow products. I did talk about this one. I'm going to keep this one. This is the Brow Contour Pro. And then let's have a look in here. I never use these things, but I always say I'm going to keep it because I might use it at some point in time. So... I'm going to keep this one too. This is from Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Invisimate. This blotting paper. Hopefully at some point I'm going to use it. I don't know. This one right here. It's <laughs> glitter. From Colourpop. And this is Frozen to Waterfall. Um, I actually did talk to my sister line. She's using glitter for... Uh, crafting and stuff like that so I'm gonna I'm gonna put all this together to give it to her you'll see I have more stuff like this so I'm gonna put it in the side and give it to her all right so in the same area I'm gonna give this one too this one is from 
the Makeup Institute, and it's called Berries. It's the same thing, a bunch of sparkly things, purple. All right, so here's the thing. I have this stuff in here, which I honestly don't know what to do with. So I have these things right here. Okay, I have this e.l.f. one, which is a liquid glitter eyeshadow 24 karat gold. I wanted to play with this a while back. I didn't yet. So I'm going to keep this one over here. And in the same time, I got this one right here that is with blue. I did play with it a little bit. Eh, wasn't necessarily my favorite. But then I have this Profusion one as well. Which I never, this is the problem, I never reach for these. And I forget I do have them in my collection. This one is actually quite pretty, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do with it. And then it came with this little thing from Profusion. And that one is super pretty as well. But again, it's like, I don't know what to do. And then I have this one that I just received from uh, Huda Beauty's Matte, Matte and Metal Melder Shadows. It's pretty, but when am I going to use this thing? I have to put this in one of those. Um, yeah, I don't know. There you go. Whatever that's going to come out as. Um, I have this. I should put them in like shop my stashes and stuff like that to try to use them more. But I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna put them there for now, we'll see. And I did have these three things from Fenty, which again, I do really enjoy, but I don't reach for them. This is so pretty. The colors are so pretty, but I just don't reach for them. I think I played like two or three times with these. And these are, oh, what are these called? So these are metallic eye and lip crayons. So you can use them either on your eyes or you can use them on your lips. I prefer to use them on my eyes and not on my lips. But they're so beautiful. The only problem, like I said, is just that I, do, I don't reach for them. And I should, we'll see if I'm going to do something to reach for them. We'll, we will have a look at that. And I have these two things from Suva. I tried them before. Um, I don't know. I have not found yet the right tools to use them with. And every time I used them, I did not like the way they look. So I'm thinking maybe it's my fault. I don't know. Okay, so I have this thing that is with glitter. I'm going to let this go. This is glitter hair gel, actually. Yeah, I'm never going to use this thing, so I'm going to let it go. And then I have this that I actually do like and I do use. It's like a glitter, kind of glittery type of thing. Liner. I do like it. So I'm going to keep this one. Okay, this one is so bad. <laughs> uh, it's so watery. I do not enjoy this one from KVD. I'm going to let this one go. I got it in one of the BoxyCharm. It's the Ink Well Liner. And this color is Lolita. Alright, so I have a bunch of eyeliners in here. And I don't know what I'm going to do. This one I have uh, from Blank Liquid Eyeliner Pen in Black. I'm going to keep this one. This one is from Lila Lashes. It's, for, it's adhesive as well, so I'm going to keep this one. Then I have LA Colors Automatic Eyeliner. I remember using this and I did not enjoy it that much. So I'm going to let this one go. Also I have... I got this one in BoxyCharm and to be honest with you, it's not my favorite. But I'm going to keep it for now. The same time I got this one, which it's pink. Um... Same. I don't. They're not my favorite, but we're gonna use, we're gonna keep them for now. Now this from NYX. I do like this white one, so I'm gonna keep it. 
This is from Private Society and this is in like a dark brown and I do really enjoy it so I'm going to keep this one too. Now this one from Dose, Fierce and Fine Graphic Liner. Um, I don't like it. It's kind of streaky. I, I never <laughs> I never end up having a good liner day when I use this one. So I'm going to let this one go. Alright, this one is from Huda Beauty. I'm going to keep this one. I do really enjoy it. And then I have this one from Blink. And I did try this one in my waterline and I did not like it that much. But I'm going to give it a few more chances. So I'm going to keep this one as well. This one is from Pure. Uh, I don't know. This one is kind of weird. But I think I'm just going to keep it for a little bit while. Um, it's not. The, I love. I love the, the liner in here. It's just like. How you open it and how you do the things, I just don't never understand what the hell, how you open this thing. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this one. Okay, so last in here, I have this one from Blink. kind of like it is in brown. I'm going to keep it. Marc Jacobs Olive U liner. I'm going to keep the, that one too. I do like this one. Yeah, so creamy and buttery. I'm going to keep this one. It's from L'Oreal. This one I just received it a few, like a, a month ago from uh, Charlotte Tilbury. And this is in brown. I'm going to keep that one too. And then I have a mini Man Eater from Tarte. I'm going to keep this one. And then I have this one in gray, which I really do enjoy from Blink. So I'm going to keep these in here. All right. Well, that is it. I actually did, was able to take some stuff out. And I was able to keep some things in that I know, you know, it's going to be easier for me to use. So let me see how I'm going to put these things in here. I'm gonna keep this one from Wishful. Um, I need to take it upstairs. Definitely doesn't belong here, but yeah, I'm gonna keep this one too. All right, guys. So this is how everything looks in here now. And I got rid of a bunch of things. I got rid of like a, I got rid of a bunch of things. Let me show you. All right, so there we go. I got rid of like 16 items in here. I'm going to keep these two to give it to my sister-in-law. But yeah, other than that, everything is in here. Thanks so much for watching. And I cannot wait to see you next time with another video. Have a nice one. Bye-bye.